Now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. September is continuing to sizzle across the Ozarks. We hit 95 degrees in Springfield yesterday, that hot spot on the map, 94 at Lake of the Ozarks and 93 in Branson. Of course, 95 degrees is much above the average of 83, and we were again only three degrees shy of the record. The record stands at 98 degrees from 1939. Uh, that puts us now with seven of the first nine days of the month in the 90s in September. The month is running six degrees above average already. Uh, the summer, though, June, July, and August was about average. We had four 90 degree days in June, nine in July, and 12 in August. And then mostly because every time we had that heat, it was short lived. It lasted for about five days with temperatures in the 90s and then cut out by a cool down. And that happened in July and August. And even in September, we've just had that five day stretch and then we had a brief break over the weekend. So far, seven days have been in the 90s this month, running six degrees above average. The latest date to hit 90 degrees in spring. Springfield was October 11th, mid-October for West Plains and Rowa, and then getting towards late October for Joplin and Harrison. Starting out warm this morning, it is 74 degrees with mostly clear skies in Springfield and south and west winds at 9 miles per hour. 72 in Branson right now, it's 71 in Harrison and 70 in Mountain Grove. Of course, that's coming with the humidity. Dew points in the upper 60s tell us that it feels uncomfortable again out there this morning. We're going to keep this summery air mass in place with some strong south winds, uh, keeping that hot and humid air mass here ahead of a front that doesn't really get here until Thursday night. So we've got a couple of more days of sweltering heat. Now with the heat that could bubble up some isolated showers and storms, especially to the east again, where we still have some boundaries left behind that could pull that moisture and pop an isolated shower or storm this afternoon. So you can see on futurecast it again favors areas east of Springfield temperatures again in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Any storms that pop will collapse by sunset. We're looking at mostly clear skies overnight tonight and temperatures again only falling into the lower 70s about 10 degrees above average and by tomorrow another hot one upper 80s lower 90s feeling closer to 100 that real feel with the humidity will approach that century mark again today and tomorrow with that real feel in the upper 90s just continuing to feel very summer like we stay summery through much of the work week that summer ridge or that area of high pressure that keeps us hot and humid doesn't get chipped away until a cold front comes through with a stronger storm by Thursday night into Friday. It brings us showers and storms and some brief relief. Temperatures in the lower 90s until then, Thursday afternoon, still 92 degrees. That front comes through overnight with showers and storms early on Friday. Temperatures will be much closer to average Friday and Saturday in the middle 80s, but that cool down is pretty short lived. South winds kick in right behind that high pressure. We're looking at temperatures up near 90 degrees again by Sunday and Monday. 93 degrees feels closer to 100 today. Hot and humid with an isolated storm to the east. 72 overnight, warm and muggy. 90 to 92 tomorrow, hot and humid again. Uh, we'll keep that summery stretch going through Thursday. Mostly sunny, hot and humid. Showers and storms Thursday night into early on Friday. Temperatures back in the middle 80s Friday and Saturday.